Hello there, this is Bakar Shivanu with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, in this particular video, I'm going to show you the difference between Amazing Marvin and Todoist. So stick around and check it out. Uh, so you know, I don't know if you know, but I've been, I was using Todoist back in about 2020. And I was just kind of, today I was kind of looking around and checking out stuff on the internet. And, and I, I was curious about why I left Todoist in 2020. And so what I did was I get in and I reopened my account in, in Todoist and they have a free version of uh, a part of Todoist. And so that some of my old tasks was there. So let me kind of utilize this to show you some of the difference between the Todoist and Amazing Marvin and why I left Todoist back then. So basically, if you go in Todoist, you know, you have your today here and this is kind of a, a linear view of your task, right? So again, this is back in 2020. So these are some of the tasks that still remain in there that I didn't, I did never check off or what have you. So you have this kind of a, a linear view here, and then you, but you can go in now. I guess this is a new feature, so you can go in and put it as a board feature as well. And I would imagine it might show another day or two. I'm not quite sure, but anyway, that gives you kind of a visual view there. But mainly, like most task managers you have this visual view, all right? So another thing is, over here is you have this list of all your tasks and projects. This is what, in Amazing Marvin, this would be called your master list, right? So the thing about it is, is if you go to this, say I wanna to go to my blogging task here, and I want to assign it to a particular day or a month, I have the only thing I really can do seems like a set a due date. That's pretty much all I can do. I can set it tomorrow, this weekend, next week. I can pick a date. I can pick a time. That kind of thing. That's pretty much all that I can do. And and I so once I move here, I'm I cannot see my to, to, today view. So, you know, I have to, you, you're kind of working in one space at a time in a way. So let me show that that's one of the biggest differences, the reason why I left, okay, to do as I think, because it wasn't visual enough. So let me go in and show you in um, here in, in Amazing Marvin. So in Amazing Marvin, here is the the day view right and in the day view you have you know you can you can categorize in a lot of different ways but mine is month morning afternoon and evening right and then over here um is my is what's called the master list the master list is everything that uh, all my tasks and projects based on categories it's all there but and i rarely use this master list um in this view here mainly what i use is what's called the small Smart list. So the smart list are basically just filters of the master list and you know, all things in the master list. So like, for example, I want to filter everything that I planned for this month. So I have it here and you're not seeing everything because, again, this is a demo of, of my um, amazing Marvin. But anyway, that's that's a filter there. Same thing I can say I want to filter for, um, I can have a smart list for my meals, right? Or I can have a smart list for things that I want to do soon or what have you. So here, you know, you, you can just you can just kind of filter down if you want the things you need. And the, and the beauty of this is when you do this, I can either go ahead and say, well, I want to, I want to assign this task to today. So I can go over here and do that and drop it into my afternoon, right? Now, another thing you can do, and I've had some videos about this, you can also have a lot of actions. Remember I told you in, in the, um, you know, to do is and to do it, you don't you really limit it to what you can do in terms of actions for your tasks. Here you had you have a lot of them and these are just the ones that I've assigned for myself. You know, I can assign I can I can assign this task to a month if I want to move it. Say I can't get it done today, but I want to do it next week. I can do it for next week. I can plan it for next week. I can plan it for next month. I can schedule it for um, tomorrow or, or any particular day here. You know, so there's a lot of things I can do. I can set a duration time for this if I want. Um, I have a whole video on, on doing this. Um, but anyway, that's, that's one huge difference there that you can do. Another key difference is, now you notice I can, I can get rid of, you know, I can get rid of this um, real quick. And then I can go to my month view and do the same thing. Here's that master list again. And I can, you know, open up 
uh, that list there and I can take these and I can assign it to a particular month okay and the beauty of the the like I said I have another video on this as well the beauty of this is you're not scheduling tasks but you're just planning for the month you're planning say I want to do the task in June for example or July but I have to you know like when I come to the to my a weekly, uh, then I can decide what day I want to do them on. So again, that's how you can do that. So let's go again to the um, the weekly schedule. Now again, here's this master list is right here, right? And if I wanted to assign, you know, when I want to do the loaded twice baked baked potatoes, right? I can take this and drag it to whatever day or evening that I want to do that recipe, right? I want to cook that meal. So here's my schedule. So this is the scheduling thing. The Amazing Marvin also has. A calendar view as well. I don't use it that much, but you can use that as well. So basically, that's the big difference. And I think if the do is working for you, that's fine. But if you if you're looking for something more visual, I think Amazing Marvin does that. It gives you this kind of visual, spatial kind of view of things and not linear. And I really believe that's the reason why I left to do it and went to this one. Um, and, I, and I'm not leaving it for a long time. I've already paid a lifetime subscription for it. Um, I think, unfortunately, they're still not doing light, lifetime subscriptions anymore. But um, again, if, if I were, if they didn't have a lifetime subscription, I would have stayed with it anyway. So, um, but yeah, but that is the, that is the big difference between, uh, there's a lot of other things in Amazing Marvin that you that I could you know that my videos go over but I just want for those of you who may be wondering what's the difference between Todoist and Amazing Marvin I hope this video kind of helped you out a little bit and kind of give you an idea if you have any questions about Amazing Marvin and the difference between that and Todoist drop them in the comment section below and I appreciate you taking out checking out my video and I'll see you in the next one thanks a lot